So High Level officially rolled out a conversational AI bot that actually books appointments on your behalf and answers general questions all through automations and through text messaging, Facebook Messenger, and Instagram. Super powerful tool, and today we're gonna show you how to build it. So stay tuned and build along with us. All right, so the first thing you gotta understand is that one, there is a cost associated with this. Now, depending on the different version that you might be in for high level, meaning you're probably under somebody's private account or you might be under your own account, you have to have conversational AI turned on. Now, the way to turn this on is if you have an agency account or you're using your high level account, is one, you're gonna come in here, you're gonna switch to agency view, you're gonna go right to your settings, in settings, you're gonna go to company, and in company, you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're gonna see that it has all these different features that are gonna be enabled. Now, the thing that I will tell you, content, workflow, LC, and also reviews AI, which is new. This is a new little sneak peek. I can't wait to see what that's about. And then you have enable conversational AI. When you enable this, if you're not in SaaS mode or your clients are not in SaaS mode, any account you enable this on, you will eat up the costs. And it's five cents for the conversational AI, five cents per call. Again, if you're using somebody else's high level, there may be a little bit of an upcharge because they have to maintain the software and do a lot of stuff in the back end. So if that's the case, there might be a little bit of upcharge. So instead of five cents, it might be seven cents. But again, that's gonna be very dependent on what you have. Your version of high level, if you're under somebody else, might not have this turned on. So it might be something that they're willing to do a little bit later on. But for anybody that's out there, just make sure that this is on. And if you're doing it for other clients, the second you turn this on, it goes on for all the other accounts. So please make sure they're under SaaS or you're willing to eat up the costs. Either way, here it is. I'm gonna turn that on. Now that I turned it on, I'm gonna go back to my account and inside my account, I'm gonna go to settings. Inside of settings, I'm gonna to go to conversational AI. Now, again, this is super awesome. And again, just going over the cost, why this is kind of like semi-important. If you were to pay an appointment setter or you were paying a person that's customer service to consistently answer questions that can be kind of answered by this bot, it's really important for you to understand that five cents per call, even 20 cents a call, will not equate to a full person as that conversation goes back on. This is always gonna be a little bit more of a time saver. The other thing that you also gotta think about, this is gonna be 24 seven. So the fact that you're gonna have somebody going back and forth at any given time with the bot versus an actual person it allows you to be open a lot longer and getting people onto your calendar. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start building this thing. Now, when you're first going to come in, you're going to go into bot settings and in bot settings, you're going to notice three kind of features. You have off, which again, just means that this is not going to be working for anybody else. You have suggested, which means it helps with the chat window. So for instance, if you're having a conversation, this will act as a suggestion for the answers that you train the bot with. And then at the end, you're gonna see autopilot. Again, it says beta. So if you're looking for perfection with this thing not making errors or something not going wrong, it is a bot, then this is not gonna be the option for you. If you're willing to kind of having a, like a very low error rate and this thing kind of handling the majority of your questions coming in, then this is the direction to go. It's still in beta and you gotta understand there's gonna be some mistakes that are gonna be made. I'm willing to take the risk considering it's a very low error rate and I wanna make sure I can get this so my customers can always have an ability to book an appointment and it can go back and forth with them in a conversation. Now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set it to autopilot. Next, it's gonna have supported channels. As of now, it has SMS, Instagram, and Facebook. Now, what I will tell you is that if you're active on Facebook or Instagram through cold DMs or any process that way, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you don't have this on for that because what's gonna happen is every time you engage with a new contact or a new engaged conversation, this thing is gonna fire and it's gonna throw things off. If you want that because you're not really checking your Facebook Messenger or your Instagram, then go ahead and go at it. Now, same thing with SMS. If you're active on Instagram or your phone numbers being used and it's consistently being used by team members and things like that, this thing will activate on any new conversation. The whole point of the bot is to take over that so then you don't have that going on at the same time. So for instance, even if you wanted to create a separate number just where people can book appointment or text that number, then you can go ahead and do that and you can reserve another number for any text messaging activities that your team might be doing. So just a different way to look at it. But for instance, our main default number is where this is gonna go after. So we only have one number and we only have this bot that's gonna be on that number. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm only gonna enable SMS because we're active on Instagram and Facebook. So we're gonna kind of leave that alone. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, the advanced settings, I'm gonna put the name, it's automated marketer. I'm gonna set it to autopilot mode. The way this works is the time before sending or responding is it will wait 10 seconds to respond so it can accumulate all the questions and then give you one solid answer to whatever's going on there. You can change it to five seconds, three seconds, however you wanna do, but this does give the bot a little bit more time if people have asked multiple questions. I think 10 seconds is a pretty good mark, even in real life situation, if somebody texts me, I'm probably not gonna get 10 seconds. It should be a reasonable time to get back to somebody. So I'm gonna leave it at 10. The other thing that I wanna make sure you fully kind of pay attention to is maximum messages a bot can 
can send to a contact. Now, this right here, it says the bot will go to sleep for the contact if the limit is reached in that conversation. To activate the bot again, mark the conversation as read, and when you do that, it will re-engage the bot. Now, the reason this is important for anybody that's in the marketing space, sometimes you're gonna get hackers or people that are just gonna try to blow you up. Putting a limit of 10 is actually pretty good because remember, if it's five cents a call, that means it's five cents for every interaction that's happening. This thing, if there is no limit to it, it can rain a bill. Now, you can go to 20, you can go to 15, you can go to a higher number. We're gonna keep it at 10, at least for now, while we test this out in real life to see whether or not that's a pretty applicable number, but I think 10 is pretty reasonable. Now that that's said and done, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure intents. So I'm gonna go all the way to the right-hand side. Now, I want this thing to answer general questions and I want it to do general support. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to book on an actual calendar and start going back and forth with appointment times. So this calendar will be used for getting available slots and booking appointments. This is the main calendar that I'm planning to use in at this time and only do it for one calendar. And for us, it's gonna be our complimentary session that we have, and then that's gonna be the start of it. Now, if you don't want it to book appointments and you just wanna send people the calendar link, you can go ahead and do that. But for this particular purpose, I want actually to give it times back and forth and I want this bot to have a conversation with my individual. So I'm gonna uncheck that box. And then the conversational flow it's very easy. It's going to ask in the order it sees, right? Now, the one thing that I do this on a Word doc prior to you putting it here, because the order matters. So when you hit add, it will take the first one out and then it goes by one, two, three. So what I had to do is just kind of like I deleted them and had to re-add them because I wanted the order to be what's your name, what's your email, and do you want to book a session kind of thing. So when you come in here, you basically you just add the question. What's your name? Can I have your email just in case our bot can't answer your question? And do you wish to book a complimentary session. So I have all that, right? So when you add all those questions, you hit save, it has those sections. Now comes the bot training. We're using our agency website to basically be the source of gathering and pulling all the information. So we have that here, as you can see. And then we have basically a couple of Q&A questions that we decided to generate ourselves, which is what services do we offer? And we basically printed that out, grabbed a little bit from inside of our website, came in here and went through it. You know, what specials do you have? What free resources do you have? And then we started training the bot based on what we have. Now, these questions and answers are very simple to do. For instance, what are your hours? All right, and then the answer will be Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., okay, boom. And then do you wish to book an appointment? Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And it's that simple. Now, if that question comes up in that manner, it can go ahead and do that. Now that this is all said and done, I have my intent figured. I have my bot training done. I have my, all my bot settings. I have the sites. It's going now, believe it or not, it's still pulling our site. So we're just gonna let that run. And then I'm gonna go into the bot trial. Now, this is kind of the preliminary bot. This is how the bot will react on normal conversations. So I'm gonna go, hey, hello, I'm an assistant from Automated Marketer. What's your name? This is a perfect response. So I'm gonna go, boom. Okay, it's not going green, but that's okay. I'm gonna say Luna, okay. Oh, <laughs> feedback received, got it. Mm, hit the button a little bit too many times. It was a little delayed, holy smokes. All right, that was me. I definitely hit that button way, way too many times. All right, nice to meet you, Nuno. How can I assist you today? Do you have any questions about our services? You, or would you like to book a complimentary 15 appointment? What services do you offer? I don't, I'm not ready to book an appointment yet, don't ask me. All right, but that's still a good response. So I'm just gonna give it one thumbs up this time. Do you offer? Let's see what it says. Now, it should take from the question and answer that I did already. Boom, we offer a range of services, including a high-level set, but perfect. Special offers vary. Please book a call for details. I'd like, like to book a call. Let's see how it responds. That's great. I will be happy to help you. Before we proceed, can you provide me with your email address just in case I can answer your questions? They're fantastic. Uh, at gmail.com. Okay, that's a burner email. So let's see what happens. Let's give it a sec. Thank you for providing your email address. You know, here are some available slots. Fantastic. I'm going to go, let's do October 19th. And I'm doing it kind of all funky 8 a.m. Let's see what happens. Great. You are booked. Fantastic. And just like that, I just got a text message confirmation saying, hey, your appointment's been confirmed. That's it, folks. How awesome is that? disengages at this point and it will open a conversation, but it might not answer it. It's kind of like something you're going to have to work with, but it completed the task that it was meant to do, which was book the appointment. Again, great feature, super great alternative for having a live person constantly going back. You can get it to where it's not appointment booking, but just answering general questions to kind of relieve you from any kind of questions that you might get. And then as the bot training happens and different questions come through, you can come in here and add additional questions, modify some of the responses and keep this thing going and building. Great, great, 
great, great addition to any services that you have. So if you have a website and you have a phone number or text to make an appointment, you could literally put in text here to make an appointment with our agent and that's it. You're pretty much done. Now, some cool updates that we know are coming is one, it's going to have the ability of reading off of a Google Doc or a text document that is coming aside from doing just websites. The other thing that's coming is that we're going to be able to activate this conversational AI in an automation. It's not quite here yet, but I know it's coming also. So with those two big things coming on the way, this is going to be a very, very viable product that you can give to every single one of your customers, you know, do a little bit of an upcharge just for the maintenance of it. But even if you're not, what a great sticky product for your clients to have inside the software. So again, guys, super awesome update. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.